sweet baby. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I am so excited to tell you that the eggs that I've been watching, the kill deer nest that has been in my peonies, it hatched and the babies are definitely the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So yesterday I was headed down to get the mail and I'm walking down and I'm on the phone with flower friend Gina and I say, Gina, I don't understand, but the, the kill deer are like yapping at me and I'm not even anywhere near their nest. Usually if I get close to their nest in the peonies, they start to, to yell at me and to make noise and to do their like fake injury thing that they do to kind of um, keep you away from their nest. So I'm um, what the heck is going on? So I go, I get the mail, I got a few packages, I got an arm load, I'm walking back up the driveway and all of a sudden in my driveway on the edge, I see the babies, they're there. I flipped out, I had my phone so I quick took a little video, I go, Aah! And guys, all over the internet, if you look up the pictures and you see that they're literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And if you guys don't know anything about killdeer, which I didn't until I had this nest and I started to research them a little bit, they come out of their eggs fully fluffed up. They're not naked like a bird you would see normally in a nest. They have all of their puffy little, fluffy little, not feathers, but you know, that fuzz, and they look just like the adult. They have all of the colorings already, and they're running. They're just like, boom, running out of the nest, like road runners all over my yard. Stay out of the driveway. I'm gonna put this one little video clip on repeat because I can't get enough of it. I, I didn't wanna get too close, you know, I'm trying to stay back, but also at the same time, they're causing a huge problem here. So they're in the driveway. They're in the driveway and they're so small and they're so adorable and they don't know, like their defense mechanism is to plop and squat and plop and squat. <laughs> and so if someone's coming up the driveway, they just plop and squat in the driveway there's gonna be a huge issue and I can't have that. Only two out of the three babies made it and I don't want anything to happen to the other two. So I had to take measures into my own hands. You might think I'm crazy, but I parked my car at the end of the driveway and I won't let anybody drive up. That's my car way down there. I had to do it. I had to make a sign and tell people, stop! You're not allowed to come up my driveway. So the only people really that we're expecting up the driveway are uh, deliveries, the, the mailman. But today's my daughter's birthday and she's having a few friends over to have a campfire tonight. And I just can't, I can't do it. I have to go to the store to get stuff for her birthday, like wrapping paper. You know what? I'll use the craft paper from the flowers. Yes, I'm good. All right. So I was nervous to even go to the store to get wrapping paper for her presents because I didn't want the driveway to be left unattended. Although my dad's white van is sitting over there. I could just park the white van there. If I needed to go, if there was an emergency, I, my, my dad's white van that my husband's gonna fix up is sitting over there. I can pull that down there if need be. But this is how it's so nerve wracking. I can't even describe, like I'm walking up and down the driveway. They're just there. It's like their territory. And I can't have these babies be squashed by any truck coming up in and out of my driveway. So. So I wrote a note and I can see the mailman left a package on the ground. So I'm gonna go check it out. I think it's one of Veda's birthday gifts. I think it's my 18 pound bag of bald tone fertilizer. <laughs> now I gotta carry it all the way up the driveway. I guess I could leave it in the car. I guess I could leave it in the car and then take it up at some other time. But here's the sign. Stop. Please drop packages here. Baby birds in driveway. Thank you. I couldn't help it, but they listen. They didn't go up the driveway. They left my bulb tone. I'll put it in the car. Oh, thrip! Oh, thrip! All better. Oh, I have the craft paper in the car too. I'll grab that, and I also have to get the mail. Okay, I get the rest of the mail out of the mailbox and the craft paper to wrap Veda's gift in, which part of her gift's in here. He knows. He knows. I'm gonna go down and chat. Well, that was perfect timing. So, 
my friend, my driver, brought me some plugs. Let's open them up. Okay, so in all seriousness, um, I'm, try I'm doing my best to stay away from them. It was very exciting, <laughs> very, very exciting. The kids were so excited to see them. Um, last night we went out to dinner with my, my dad to take Beta out for her birthday and uh, the, uh, we got back and they're in the driveway again. I gotta, my iris needs to come up. I look awfully dark. There. I hear the mom going nuts. She must be close by. Anyway, so like I, I try not to interfere with nature, but when nature is coming into the driveway, I absolutely feel that I need to take steps in order to prevent something from happening. Um, and the UPS driver was just like, did you get a head count on all three of them? And I said, we only have two. So I can't, it has to, I, we have to protect the babies. Anyway, so very exciting. This is also exciting, all exciting things. So we have, okay, so I get some uh, plants from a company called Farmer Bailey and um, occasionally they'll have extra plugs at, for the shipping like the next day. So over the weekend, I got the email that they had extra plugs and so I'm looking and I'm looking and I go on there and I'm like, why not, why not? Just throw a few extra plugs in there. Brad tilled up some new property and I uh, have room. So I got some plugs and I have to order in sets of three in order to ship and in this box right here, it's three plugs. And so Farmer, Farmer Bailey is kind of like the distributor and then um, they actually came from Grow and Sell is the company that provides the plugs. There are several other companies that provide plugs but this is just where um, they come. They came from this time. Let's back up a little bit so you guys can see the box. Okay. So I ordered three different things and I don't even remember what they are. Uh oh. They're so well packaged. This is the second time I've gotten stuff from Grow and Sell. I also purchased Lysianthus plugs through Farmer Bailey and they all came from there. They look so good. Oh wow. What a beautiful set. So this is a plug tray for, full of Larkspur. So I direct seeded Larkspur and one of the rows came up beautifully. I have plants that a little bit smaller than this came up beautifully, but I wanted to do more larkspur. So I got an entire plug tray of a larkspur mix. I'm excited to see these grow. I had one larkspur last year that was a beautiful dark purple color. <sighs> okay, what else do we have here? I'm remembering what I ordered now. I know all of the names of the things. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, I can tell what it is. Okay, so I already have some, one variety of these growing. This is a different variety. <laughs> this is a Dusty Miller and this is the Silver Dust one. Now this has a little bit more of a frilly leaf than the one that I'm growing. I have the New Look. The New Look has a little bit of a broader leaf. This is Dusty Miller Silver Leaf. Look how good these plugs look. Let me see if I can pull one out here. Now these are, I think, 210 plug trays or 216. Uh, very, very cute. Now it's important that you like inspect all of your bug or for bugs and stuff when you get these trays. So I'm going to be taking a closer look at these before I put them anywhere near. Hi. I trust these guys. These are the silky chickens. You guys I don't trust. Neighbor. I just am like so cautious about my driveway right now, but it's the neighbor. Okay, one more. These are champagne bubbles. Poppies. So my poppies, I did, they look okay, but I only have probably 15 of them out of the tray that made it into the ground. And I wanted to get more. Oh my goodness. So these look okay. They look like they need to get out of this plug tray. There's a little yellowing on the leaves, um, but I'm gonna hit them up with some fertilizer and get them in the ground over the next couple of days. Hey, that's right. That's right, you don't do that. You don't touch my Larkspur. No. Lady. No. Uh-uh. 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 Vicious. So yeah, these two look fantastic. This one, they'll be okay. The inside, the green looks good. They're so little. Oh my goodness. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the plan of these. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys 
the killdeer and how absolutely adorable they are and how I want to have a conversation with the mom because as a mom, I know that it was so much easier when my baby was still inside. <laughs> Oh, I can't imagine the stress that those parents are under because those babies, I mean, can you imagine if you gave birth to a child and it just started running? It just started running all over the place? <laughs> I can't even imagine. At least, you know, the other birds, they, they have their babies and they're in the nest, like not moving for a while. I'm watching the bluebirds at, the, at their house. No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't even think about it, musketeer. Don't even think about it. Go back in the box. I gotta put them up on the porch. That's right, fluff your feathers at me. Okay, so I keep adding to my to-do list, unintentionally. This is another three hours worth of work. It takes me about an hour to plant a tray. Um, so that's okay, that's all right. It's worth it, it's gonna be worth it. I hope, I really hope. <laughs> So anyway, I uh, think that I might plant wildflower field today because um, I didn't plant it previously because we were in a drought, but it rained last night a lot. So the past two days actually it rained and then tomorrow we're supposed to have a light rain all day. So it's kind of the perfect time to plant the wildflower seed because you don't want to do it before a heavy rain because then the seeds will all wash out. So I think I'm gonna go do that and I'll uh, probably bring the camera along with me um, and that'll be a video for maybe later this week. But all right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today and thanks for sticking around <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Oh, my hair is a naughty mess. <laughs> it's naughty, <laughs> not good. Woo. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I am here to tell you about my kill deers, I keep kill deers, why would I pluralize it? Deer is plural. Don't look at me neighbors, don't look at me, I'm not weird. Stop! Back off! I got birds, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control for the kill deer in my driveway. And it's terrifying!